got done with our breakfast. We had a super late start for the day. I think it's like 10.30. And we're just now starting the day. But we are headed to Ikebukuro today to just kind of explore, see a few temples. Laying in your bed, fighting gold. Feel this. How is it so hot? I don't know. I think the vending machine has a heater in it to make the drinks hot. <laughs> Ikebukuro station and I don't know why but our biggest problem with the metro station is just finding an exit because some of the stations are so big and there's like so many exits like I think Ikebukuro had like I don't know a lot Kuji temple and it is super super pretty there's it's right next to a funeral so I didn't want to vlog like up inside it but this is super super pretty you can see the cherry blossoms are blooming and there's a pagoda up there and it's just really pretty he's taking a panoramic of this beauty it's the gate to the entrance of the temple and I think that is panoramic was just messed up was it okay. he's very serious about his panoramic so. well they get like the whole <laughs> shot and they, they, get the they turn out really good when you get it right but it no, has you to be zoom perfect in and then scan it so you get a zoomed in shot but you get it of everything We just came to this place called Ichiran Ramen where you're like in a little cubicle and you order ramen, you put it on a piece of paper. I'm pretty sure this is like a chain restaurant because I know it's in Shibuya and Shinjuku also. We're still in Ikebukuro, so this place is pretty much everywhere. Just super flattering angle. Good morning. Tokyo Tower. We finally made it to Tokyo Tower. We drove past it on the Mari Mari car, the go-karts, but we didn't go up it, so we're gonna do that today. It's taller than the Eiffel Tower, right? It's only a little bit taller, like a couple meters, not much. But I think we can go to the top. Yeah. We're gonna go check it out. <laughs> Zinzo G. Zinzo. Zinzo G. No, there was two J's. Zinzo Jo. Zinzo G. We came to the Tokyo Tower at like 9:15, and we pretty much went straight to the top. There was no waiting. It's now 11:10, so we were up there for quite a while. We were kind of like shuffled from place to place, 
and you're like in a little bit of a group until you get to the very top because we went to the very tippy top but right now there's a huge huge line so if you want to go up to the tokyo tower definitely get there early oh there's a bag it's probably all forced <laughs> when you walk around in these because i've had like feet pain pretty much and I want to get a blog post with these shoes from Shootopia so I've just been carrying them around. I'm changing shoes. I'm back in tennis shoes now. Where are you now? Uh, the temple. Here's the Tokyo Tower. Tower. Oh, the Imperial. Actually, I want to go to the gate and those little doll things. And food? Yeah. <laughs> food. <laughs> A 30 minute walk or a short, what'd you say, 10 minute metro ride okay. away from Tokyo Tower is the Imperial Palace and Gardens. I'm gonna assume because this is like a bigger little complex, it's kind of in a moat, right? It's like surrounded by water. Would you say that it's a remote? <laughs> this is super cute. They have little water fountains over there. Some flowers. These are all cherry blossom trees, I think, but they're not bloomed yet. And the palace is over there. Here is the palace. Oh, don't walk into a chain, okay. <laughs> currently in the Imperial Palace just walking around it's free admission but you still need to get a ticket but they just give you here this is the ticket and I think this is just so they can keep count of how many people are actually in this area I don't know how crowded it can be but there was no line we just like walked in given a little ticket it's actually quite a bit to do here there's a lot of different gardens and I think we're gonna try to find the bamboo forest yes. bamboo garden this place is pretty cute because there's like a lot of tourists but at the same time there's a bunch of locals because it's right next to the city and it's this giant park kind of like Central Park in New York and a lot of people are just having a picnic it's Sunday so everyone's just out with their kids to the high shrine. It's kind of in the, in the middle of a neighborhood. 